wonderful, wonderful. So, my friends, thank you very much for joining me. Now, let's see if you can hear each other or see each other. I am just continuing talking. So, my friends, thank you for joining us. Um, now, I'm just checking whether I am here as well. So, here we go, Mr. Dave. Okay, lovely, lovely. So, my friends, thanks very much for joining in. I'm going to start my show. I am your host, Susanna Hirchog, a medium from the UK. I hope you are very, very well. And keeping yourself well, keeping yourself warm, keeping yourself cool, keeping yourself organized, keeping yourself in a loving light of everything what you are bringing to your life. So thank you very much for being here. Now, this is a very exciting time because this is the last show of this year, 2022. And it's interesting because earlier I was doing a reading for somebody. And then that situation, I had all the things in front of me, very nicely prepared. And But then when we started the conversation, all the technicalities kicked in. And then I was really saying to the person that actually, is it my energy or your energy or we are sharing this energy? And then you see, I'm talking about, I am talking about um, the how the year is finishing now, because this is the last show of this year. Next year, next week is going to be 2023. And then you see, when I when I get to this point in time, I'm always celebrating everybody who is a Capricorn. So I'm not going to talk to you about Capricorns and all the signs because we've got the the amazing Amanda Hall a little bit later talking about those wonderful things. But then you see, being a Capricorn is always a very very special time when you get around that time of year, meaning that we are the one we are the ones who are seeing this year out, and we are the ones who are bringing the New Year's in, of course, sharing with you, because Capricorns, you like sharing, but at the same time, you like nice challenges. And you see, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it really made me think that that uh, um, when we get to this time of the year, it's not just the Capricorns, but all of us really thinking about what this year was about. And then we tend to compare our year, our life to other people, or we tend to compare this year to last year and then a year before and even the year before or, or, you know, going back in time. But then you see, while I was thinking about this conversation, this came to me, I've got this little board here. You see, I am an artist, just like you, okay, so the artist of our lives. And then there is nothing on the two sides of these boards. So this is a canvas, if you cannot if you cannot see me just listening, I've got a, a huge, well, medium-sized canvas in my hand, empty side. And then while I was sitting here, I'm, I was just really feeling the energy of the canvas. And it made me think that even our life might have been or might feeling this way or feeling this way. Because one side of the canvas, I was thinking this is this year, you know. And then the other side of the canvas is uh, the next year, the following year we are going into. And then you see one side this year is a rough side, rough side. So if you can hear, this is what it sounds like, rough side. Then the other side is the smooth side. And then you see, we might have painted our picture on the rough side, or maybe even the, the smooth side of the canvas. But then when we, were, when we were creating our year, it might have felt very rough, maybe in the middle, the center of our life, or what was happening around us, the conversation, situations we have had with people, or maybe the edge, maybe the corner of the canvas. But then most certainly, we are at a time when we are summarizing what has happened to us this year, and and really wanting to feel in the energy that, you know, the energy we are going into the new year. So really the energy is that whatever we have experienced this year, we've got a few more days, and just really reflecting, that is my invitation, really reflecting what this year meant to you, what this year brought to you, what you are grateful for, what you are ready to let go of, what you are, all the feelings, all the happiness and then the joy and all the frustration and all the sadness. So the invitation is really knowing that this remains this side of the universe this side of the canvas. So what we have experienced up to this point is going to stay here. Because why? Because there is another side. 
And just like everything else, like my canvas, it has two sides. Everything else has two sides. So even if you feel that this year was rough and challenging, and you can summarize it for yourself, letting it go, meditate, uh, journal, sing, um, walk around in nature, and really at the same time feeling being grateful, feeling gratefulness, what you have experienced. But then you need to know that everything has another side. So even when things were rough, then take it into the energy, take it into the new year, that it's, it's a different energy. And then even though we've got so many different things coming to us in 2023, um, the time is going to be different and the energies are going to be very different and how we are perceiving things. You see, I started with time, the time, you know, we will have a very different experience of how things are happening, how things are speeding up, how much they are speeding up. The technology coming in, you know, lots of different things coming al along. And then the situations we are encountering, or the situations what we are going to meet next year. So the invitation is really feeling into and looking into that, yes, I, have, I am letting go of what I have experienced up to this point. I am grateful for the goodness and, and even grateful for my challenges. But when I'm going into the new year, it is a different start. And then whichever way we are feeling into next year, whether we've got something positive to look forward to, whether we've got something fearful, being fearful about, but then <clears throat> the invitation is really feel that actually it's an open space, an open space. Because what you are, whatever you are going to experience in every single moment, just like how I could uh, add dots onto my, my board here, every single moment is going to be very, very unique in itself, very, very different from the other one. And then even though if you feel that, that there will be rough corners or rough, rough edges or rough situations, challenging situations next year, you need to remember, we need to remember that every single point, every single point, the point next to it, the moment next to it is going to bring a different energy because we have the ability to feel into the, the frequency, the energy of the next moment and how we are doing it, that in the very moment what we are experiencing, we are in peace. Whether they are happy situations, happy um, conversations or happy, happy moments, or whether they are going to be... <clears throat> excuse me, whether they are going to be very challenging, but we need to know that we need to take every single moment as one individual moment by itself. So but you see, maybe next time, the next, uh, next uh, by this time next year, when we are creating this conversation and what you are putting onto your board, you will see that maybe that is going to be a rough side as things are moving forward. But we need to remember that we've got the uh, Ability and then the opportunity to look into what is working in our life, what is the shiny, what is the, the smooth, what is the clear, and how I can welcome it in my life. And then you see what was happening or what has been happening this year, really the, just a question of um, packing it up all together, you know, summarizing and then really offering it to God's spirit consciousness that I am grateful I was here. I was here fully to experience this year and really feeling into um, every single moment because that is what I needed to learn or needed to experience this year. So whatever the energy, whatever you are experiencing, really the message is feel grateful about your experiences and feel that whether they brought you joy or sadness or frustration, how you can bring those one to the next year, to the following year. And then you see I'm talking about the following year, 2023. So we've got another couple of couple of uh, days, a couple of minutes actually left from my stream here, a couple of, um, couple of uh, days. And then you see, I was thinking of, excuse me, I was thinking of that, yes, for instance, my birthday is coming up in a few days time. And next time when I'm going to be in seven days time, it's going to be, I'm going to say that, yes, we are in a new year. I'm going to be a year older. So thank you very much. I'm sending you lots of love and many, many blessings. And bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.